Hello friends, I am Rais Ahmed from webtutor99.com and I welcome you in the new tutorial series form validation using JavaScript. In this tutorial series, we will create a JavaScript which will validate the forms on the client side and it will help or guide your users to enter uh, correct information and uh, it will validate your forms on the client side before the form is submitted to the servers this is the example form and first I'll show you uh, the features of the script that we are going to create in this tutorial series how it will validate and what are the features of the script this is the an uh, example sign up form and if a user tries to submit the form or an empty form like this then uh, we'll see what will happen now I'll submit the empty form and the script triggers and it validates the form and it will show the errors you can't leave this empty you can't leave this empty you can't leave this empty please select a number you must agree to proceed etc these are the error messages that the uh, the script shows to the user the script also validates the email addresses if a user enters a long email address this is the uh, correct email address and uh, the script accepts the address uh, and if a user enters an invalid address the script validates the email ID and if it is invalid then it shows the error message according to the Gmail you cannot have any special characters in the username so uh, otherwise it will be invalid for example if I enter a special character here and if I remove the focus then it will show an error message and please enter a valid email ID also in the domain name we cannot have any special characters etc and here also the script validates and it will show an error message similarly it will validate uh, all the possibilities and uh, it tries its best to find the valid email IDs similarly the U uh, script will help your users to create a strong password the standard format for a strong password is the password must have uh, capital letters small letters numbers special characters and it uh, must be at least eight characters long now using this format the script checks the password and if the password is according to the format then it accepts the password otherwise it alerts the user let us see how it will do that I have entered three character password now you can see that the script alerts the user with the message the password must be the combination of uppercase lowercase numeric and special characters and at least eight characters long so I have to enter the uh, password according to the format let's see now the password is according to the format and the script accepts the password and for the confirmation password you must enter the same password otherwise it will give an error see please enter the same password in both the fields now I have to enter the same password
no see the message is gone because the password is uh, same and then on here we have I have to select a number otherwise it will show a message error message and here I have to check this box in the here name field I have to enter a name of at least five characters long name otherwise it will give an error message for now I have not included the length feature but we will include it later and here also the user name must be of five characters long so these are the correct information and now the script processes it and as all the information are correct it will submit the form to the server I love what the form is submitted like this the script will validate the form in this tutorial series first we'll see how we can validate the individual form elements like the text el uh, elements and email password and then the select elements check boxes etc and then we'll create a whole script to validate a form that i have shown in the dump this is the introductory video and from the next video we'll start uh, the tutorial actual tutorial and first we'll see how we can validate the uh, text inputs for now thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel and also visit my site thank you we'll, we'll meet in the next tutorial